You ready? You ready? Okay. Good afternoon. Today I stand here as a very disappointed and embarrassed police chief who has to announce the arrest of one of our own. Sergeant Joe Revito was arrested last night by San Diego Police Department detectives at approximately 9 p.m. For, solicita I'm sorry, for solicitation of a sex act with a minor. I fully understand the actions of Sergeant Revito tarnished the badge and this department and this profession. I also want to state that the actions of Sergeant Revito are not indicative of the work the men and women of this department do on a daily basis. Police officers should and must be held to a higher standard, both on duty and off duty. When an officer breaks that trust, they must be held accountable. I assure you, Sergeant Revito will be held accountable both criminally and administratively. Immediately after his arrest, I took steps to remove Sergeant Revito's police powers, and he has been suspended from duty without pay. As far as the investigation, from the moment we received this information, our department worked around the clock to ensure all allegations were fully investigated, which culminated in last night's arrest. I want to thank District Attorney Summer Steffen for her team's assistance in this investigation, and I would also like to thank members of the Internet Crimes Against Children for their assistance in this investigation. At this time, I would like to introduce Lieutenant Judd Campbell, who will provide more information on this investigation. Judd. On, on July 24th, uh, my unit, the Professional Standards Unit, was assigned a tip that came in through Crime Stoppers to investigate when it was determined that a department member was involved. We developed an immediate investigative response, which included 24-7 surveillance in conjunction with district attorney investigators. We took all necessary investigative steps to develop the case and develop the information to obtain a search warrant and make an arrest. Last night, Sergeant Joe Revito was arrested at uh, 9 o'clock, off duty, without incident in Carmel Valley. In conjunction with that arrest, we executed a search warrant at his residence. Uh, to protect the integrity of the ongoing investigation, as well as prosecution, uh, that's the majority of the details we can release at this point, but I do want to emphasize the investigation is ongoing. If anyone has any additional information uh, or believes that they uh, may be a victim, if they would please reach out to my unit at 619-531-2480. That's 619-531-2480. At this point, unless there are additional charges that develop during the ongoing investigation, we will be transitioning this case to the district attorney for prosecution. The district attorney may or may not update you with subsequent developments as the prosecution unfolds. Um, are there any questions? Oh, sorry, Chief. Just a couple more things I'd like to, to say in, in closing. Uh, to the communities that we serve, every member of this department fully understands and, and strives to meet the expectations of this profession. We also understand in this instance, we let you down. To the men and women of this department, I know you are equally disappointed and embarrassed. I want you all to know the city, myself, and all the chiefs and captains stand behind you. I ask each of you to stay focused on providing the highest quality of services to the community members of this beautiful city. And with that, we'll open it up for questions. Of um, him being named in there were multiple people who were named in that tip. Do you know if there will be any other arrests in this case? You know, it's, it's very important right now to focus on this is still a very early on investigation. Um, it's important to talk about how quickly we worked on this case. That will be something that either ourselves or the district attorney will, will brief you on as things develop. As Lieutenant Campbell said, this is still very much an active investigation. 
know if he was allegedly soliciting over the internet or in person or I, I, I really want to focus on the, the how quickly we worked on this and you know is important to for the integrity of this investigation and to assure that we can move forward with the prosecution that we keep those details at this time uh, for the for the investigation only and is it clear that only accused of the incident from that you guys discovered on July 24th that no prior history of uh, solicitation of minors in the past we're going to be looking at everything uh, we're going to be looking and that's why we're providing numbers. That's why we provided a number. If you believe you have any additional information or have been contacted by this sergeant, we want to hear from you. And that's why we're providing this, this phone number for you to call right now. And so uh, we're going to investigate everything. It's, it's very important uh, to us to, to make certain that we do as thorough and full of investigation as possible. Uh, we have the right people doing this. We have our professional standards uh, led by Lieutenant Judd Campbell. Uh, we're working closely with the district attorney and, and members of the Internet Crimes Against Children. We have the right people doing this investigation, uh, and we're going to continue this investigation to make sure we do as thorough a job as we can. Yes, can you, sir. Can you talk about what his duties were with the department um, currently or in the past? Did he work around children? Uh, he, for the last, I believe, a year or so, he has been uh, down in the watch commander's office, which is in this building. Uh, he uh, approves reports and approves bookings. Uh, so he has not really had contact with the public for some time, though. Before, uh, before that, he was a patrol sergeant. I believe it was Eastern Division. Whether it's an actual uh, minor victim or it, it was more of like another undercover cop situation? It's, it, again, for the, for the prosecution of this and for the integrity of this investigation, those are not details that we're going to go into. Uh, again, I will stress, however, how important it was and how quickly we moved on this case upon immediately learning of this case. Whether this was a sting or not. Again, I'm going to focus on the integrity of the investigation. I want to stress on what you said earlier, Chief. You know, despite this case, we still cannot forget the fact that this is one of the safest city in the entire country, and it's because of you guys, the San Diego Police Department. And we must give you credit where it is due. I just understand it's a bad apple situation here. But still, you guys better do a very good job to represent our city, and we thank, thank you for it. So I you know, let you guys solve this case among yourself. But to keep up the good work you're doing, and you know, just keep thank on you. doing it. Thank you. Can you clear up how the tip came in? It was a little in the press release. It was via Crime Stoppers, via ICAC, and yeah. Um, that's how we received it. We received it via Crime Stoppers, um, and then we jumped immediately into an all hands on deck type of investigation uh, with our partners from the district attorney's office and the Internet Crimes Against Children. What, how does ICAC capture into that? Because those are police officers; they wouldn't call Crime Stoppers, right? Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to focus on these are it's Internet Crimes Against Children. And Crime Stoppers is how we got the tip. I'm not going to go exactly into those details uh, because, you know, we've done a great job of doing this investigation. There's still a lot of, of work to be done. Uh, but equally important is to ensure the integrity of this case as we move forward. Uh, I do not want to do anything uh, to jeopardize this case. Uh, and that would be irregardless if it's a police officer or anybody else. The integrity of this case is what's utterly important. Um, we had a member of this department uh, do something that is irrehensible. Uh, I want to make certain that we are focusing on doing the very best investigation possible and providing a product to our partners over at the district attorney's office that they, that they can move forward with prosecution. Uh, how seriously does SDPD take charges like these? You know, I want to talk about, you know, there's a lot of pride when you join any law enforcement. I can speak of for the San Diego Police Department and speak of myself of a 31-year veteran. Uh, we wear this badge with a lot of pride, and we understand that we are held to a higher standard. We want to be held to a higher standard, and we need to be held to a higher standard. And so when we have a member 
uh, go out and tarnish that badge. It hurts us all. Uh, it hurts this profession. And we understand, and that's why we take it so so very serious, why we move so quickly, why you heard Lieutenant Campbell talk about 24-7 surveillance. Uh, we wanted to make certain that a member of this department was not out hurting a community member. That's very, very important for us. And so we take this oath of office very, very important and, and very serious. And, and that's why you're seeing this action. That's why you're seeing me up here uh, talking about being very disappointed, very embarrassed. It is very embarrassing uh, to have to talk about arrest of one of our own. Um, but in this case, it's, it's very important to make certain that we're providing uh, safety to the community. That's our job. other than simply solicitation did he um, is he charged or being accused of taking it a step further than that so when you look at this charge and that's a great question and I appreciate that very much it can be either a, a felony or a, a misdemeanor uh, we look at the facts of this case uh, and he was booked for a felony uh, 